。Steen， 好耐冇見啦。你又出嚟讀啊？係啊，你咧？咁啊，家姐唔通我嚟食飯咩？你收咩貨啊？英烈啊，你咧 ？Joga， 都出個 choice。咁咪好囉，你不過鍾意挺嘢㗎嘛。咁你諗住畢業做啲咩唔知啊，我冇諗到咁遠。誒、呃，我趕住去上堂啊，我遲啲揾你啊，你電話冇改啊，嗬？姑姐呢？去做街？未翻啊。My name is Hugh Graham, and I'm your lecture for this course. You may call me Hugh, or Professor, or Dr. Graham, if you seek to be especially obsequious, although that won't get you very far with me. As you may or may not know, I have a reputation for being a very tough teacher, and you will have the chance during this semester of finding out for yourselves whether that reputation is justified. If I'm not mistaken, most of you here are English literature majors. And as this is about the most useless course of study in Hong Kong, I would imagine that you're sitting here because you want to, and because you have a liking for the subject. I would therefore expect you to do the work required of the course, and in particular the course readings, as there is little point in studying literature if you can't be bothered to read the books. Read this by next week. And do try and find something intelligent to say about it. Hi,中意時候老爸說啦。咩書嚟啫？嗯，小説。講咩個？講個男仔中意咗個大學同學。好睇嗎？好啊。睇完咗就睇啦。唔啱你睇㗎。點解啊？因為太細個。你係咪中
，咪翻屋企咯。今日星期二、啊，不如去睇戏啦。唔啦，我有得需要睇啊。你输咁慢，仲要调剂下啊嘛。下次先啦。咁好啊，下次先啦。不过你请我。嗯。阿伯。Come in. Oh, hi. Hello, Professor Graham. You wish to speak to me about something? Um, yeah, just to chat. Would you like to sit down while you do that? So, how are you? Fine. Thank you. In the class, you're enjoying it. Yeah, a lot of reading, but、uh, lighter books. Something. When you read this, can you tell me what you think? You wrote this. So we have a poet in our class. It's not very good. I think I can be the judge of that. What's your name? Mark. Mark Pang. Sure, why not? You know, when I first started teaching here, I used to correct all the grammatical errors in student papers. I didn't bother after the first term. You'd think that after what a dozen years learning English, they would at least be able to write and complete sentences. Some of them are bad teachers. There are no bad teachers, just students who fail to inspire. Do you like my poems? Do you want to be a poet then? No, just not enough money, just for fun. Some it's not bad. What was that line? Once you gave me life, but death took you away. About my father. Oh. 
Can I ask why you always write in English? You wouldn't be able to understand if I write in Chinese. Hi. Hi. That smells good. What is that? Ratatouille, I believe. That was yesterday's special. Yes, well, uh, it's still special today, isn't it? Have you heard the joke about the kitchen helper? A French tourist comes into the restaurant and asks, what's the soup de jour? So the kitchen helper disappears into the kitchen for about five minutes and he comes back looking really pleased with himself and he says, it's the soup of the day, sir. You're making fun of me? I'm just trying to make you laugh. Why on earth would you want to do that? So that you like me. Yes, but I do like you. Yes, but I want you to like me more. What do you mean? Hugh, Hugh! That was lovely. The dialogue was so funny. And that boy who played the cook, he's so cute. Where on earth did you find him? I haven't the foggiest. I have to speak to Simon. He's in charge of production. I just wrote the damn thing. Mm. Well, oh, you must introduce me to that boy sometime. Oh, by the way, are you going to the cast party later? I might drop by. Oh, great. We'll see you later on then. Ciao. Cheerio. Hello, Mark. Didn't expect to see you here. Why? Well, I didn't tell anybody in the class that this was on, for one thing. I like it a lot. Did you? I thought it was poorly directed. The acting was amateurish, and I'm glad that it was only playing to 50 people. The writing was good. You think so? You know, Mark, the truly frightening thing about this place is its complete and utter indifference. The precious few that just saw my play won't remember a thing about it tomorrow when they wake up. The play itself will be taken off after just two performances and will never be heard of again. It might just as well have not existed. I enjoyed it. Did you? It's not quite finished, really. I'm still tinkering with a couple of the scenes. It's more like a work in progress. If only I could get it published back home, I'd move home and write. So why did you come to Hong Kong? For the money, what else? I earn three times here what I do at home. There's the housing as well. Still, that's not the sort of thing you want to hear, is it? No, it's not a bad reason. How long have you been here? Too long. Hmm. The play, is it a true story? You're very inquisitive. Sometimes. You know, Mark, you're very different from the other students in the class. Is it good or bad? It depends. I'm going to have to make a move. I should be late for the cast party. Well, you take care of yourself. See you soon. The exiled writers we've considered, like Joyce and Mansfield, seek to recreate their homes in their writing, forever preserving it in a static, idealized way. At the same time, the relationship between these writers and their home countries is one of ambivalence, a love-hate relationship, if you will. With focused obsession, they continue to revisit the country that once drove them away. 你搭什麼車走啊? 
，我先走先啦，你去图书馆啦。好，拜拜。Hi. Hello. What are you doing? Preparing next week's lectures. Do you fancy coming up for a chat? No. No? Let's go out. Out? Out for a drink. OK. Never say no to a drink. I'll be right down. How are you getting home? I'm taking a minivan. That's quite a way. Do you want to borrow an umbrella? Sure. I live just up the street. Come on. Thank you. God, what a night. Come in, Mark. Make yourself at home. I'll get a towel. Okay. Thank you. You have a nice apartment. It's not exactly mine, you know. It's getting late. I think you'd better go home. I'll get you that umbrella. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. Bye. Good afternoon, Professor Graham. Haven't seen you for a while. Dean Wang. How's work? No worse than usual. So, how's the play? Oh, you know. I don't mean to pry, but as you know, the department is being reviewed, and we are under a lot of pressure to be productive. I understand. So? I submitted it to a couple of publishers in London. Don't worry, they are on the academic committee's list. Very good. And? I'm still waiting to hear from them. Right. Is it the same play you were talking about last time? It is. It's been a long time coming. Yes, but I assure you it'll be worth the wait. I hope so. I would love to read it sometime. I'll let you when I've done. Yes, I'm sure you will. Excuse me. Oh, 
Oh, and if you don't mind me asking, what is your play about? First love, that sort of thing. Oh. Just one. One hurt you. Cheers, Mark. Here's two rejection letters. Mark, get up. 
time is it? Yeah, good trust. I think you better go. Do you mean? This won't happen again. I was drunk last night. I lost control. How old are you anyway? Wanted you from the start. This isn't going to work. Why? Because I'm your teacher, that's why. So? Look, let's not have a scene about this. Just go. Where's my shoes? They're in the bathroom. <笑>一個女的男朋友有錢女中意嗰個男朋友 Humbert's crime is twofold, neither of which ironically is what he eventually went to jail for. The first is the more obvious crime of having screwed a very young girl. Yeah, but doesn't Lolita want him to? Only in the movie version, Mark. Besides, a schoolgirl's crush and love are two very different things, which leads us to the second crime, which is a writer's crime, the crime of romanticizing rape. Professor Graham? Professor? Hugh? Let's talk. What would you like to talk about? About us. There's nothing to say, Mark. Hi. You're afraid. Of what? Would it be different if I'm not your student? Maybe. Then you like me. I like you too. Mark, it's not that simple. I've got my position to consider. Come with me. Sorry? I want to take you somewhere. Please. My mother, when I was just two years old, she went to America and married another man. And then my father died when I was 11. What did your father die of? Heart attack. I'm sorry. It's not so bad. I have my auntie to take care of me. What's she like, your auntie? She's nice. Very kind. It's good. My father's grave. It's over there. We should have brought some flowers. She didn't like flowers. I wish she could meet you. I'm sure he would like you too. Until he finds out I'm sleeping with his son. He would understand. He never gets angry with me. He never scold me. He actually, never gets angry with anybody. A real Confucian gentleman. Well, he kept everything inside. 
Maybe that's why he had a heart attack. I remember I was as good the day it happened. My auntie came to fetch me. And we all rushed to the hospital in the taxi. And when we came to the hospital, it was too late. It must have been dreadful for you. And then that night I slept at my auntie's house. When I woke up the next morning, I didn't know where I was. Just like waking up to a different world. I had the same feeling the day I woke up to the place. What do you mean? A little bit of flour on the board. That's great. It's not difficult making bread, you know. It tastes so much better than anything you can buy in the shops. Okay, can I try? Yeah, sure. Now, use the heel of your hand. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. Yeah. That's right. Really push into it. Like this? That's it. That's great. How about a shape? Don't worry about the shape at the moment. That's great. Here, try it with some camembert while it's still warm. So, what's the verdict? It's good. Very good. I'm sorry it's not much of a meal. I haven't done much cooking lately. Why? Such a good cook. Well, you know, I eat on my own, and cooking for oneself is a little bit like dancing alone. There's not much point to it, is there? I cook you a Chinese meal next time. Be good. Steam fish. Why you? Fried beef with green onions. Do you do the cooking at home? No, mind you, that's most of the time. My father taught me how to cook. Mm hmm. Make dinner for us every day. And I helped in the kitchen. But at that time, I didn't like it because it was dirty and messy. Your father sounds like a really nice man. Yeah. Who's this? It's Mario, somebody I used to know. Very good looking. Yes, he was. Half Italian from Liverpool. I was 16, working in a summer job in a local restaurant. I was a waiter. He worked in the kitchen. They just say a play. Something like that. You know, it's amazing the amount of unnecessary hair one develops in unexpected places. The older I get, the more I find the mirror distressing. So what happened to Mario then? I don't know. I never saw him again after that summer. Thank you. You know, when I first came out to Hong Kong, I never dreamed I'd stay this long. Do you miss England? Not anymore. Not really. You think you'll go back? I certainly don't want to stay in Hong Kong the rest of my life. When you do, I want to go with you. What would you do there? You can study. I can take English literature and master degree. And I will go to the British Museum and study all the manuscripts. And you can concentrate on your writing. Do you like that? Mark, there's something I want to talk to you about. I've not been writing much of late. In fact, I haven't written a word in two years. There have been no rewrites, no new ideas. I'm stuck. The play's a piece of shit anyway. 
It's not true. It is. Meeting you's made me realize it. It's, it's fetid. Everything about it is dead. You know, I've always hated the term guaylo, but I think in my case it fits. I am more like a ghost out here. As I lay dying, my life didn't flash before my eyes. Instead, I see my stupid play. Appropriately enough, it was the ending scene, the parting. What's the matter, Kevin? This. I'm fucking tired of this. Tired of what? Everyone knows. Why haven't you noticed yet? Who knows what? The boss, Gracie. They're all talking about us at the restaurant, that's what. And your mom. Do you see that dirty look she gave me just now? I always thought you liked being the center of attention. Fuck you, all right? I'm not going to Bleeding Cambridge next year. I'm staying right here, probably for the rest of my life. I mean, these are the people I have to live with. As if being working class isn't bad enough. I can do without being called a puff. I love you, Kevin. Look, you just don't understand, do you? What's coming? I'm so I'm sorry, I... Get out! Is it not too late in the day for an epiphany? That's enough. 
surely it's not that good. Oh, stop it. Oh, I think I understand. You're not applauding my play. It's me, isn't it? It's because I'm dead. You lot are pathetic. No, I don't mean you, Mark. You're all right. I'll miss you. Professor Graham. Professor Graham. You gave me quite a start. Have you no respect for the sick? Not if the sickness is self-induced. Touché. Have you ever considered a military career? You have all the makings of a top-notch card. This is not a social visit, Professor. I wish to tell you that the department is most dissatisfied with your recent behaviour. Your personal problems are not our department's concern. But you have responsibilities, and it is most irresponsible for you to... Um... Top myself in the middle of the semester. Precisely. In view of this, and your poor performance record, not to mention your research ratings... You're asking me to resign. Well, that would be the wise move, but of course the choice is yours. These are the terms of your release. I hope you're satisfied with the compensation package. In my opinion, it's very generous. Thanks. Now, if you don't mind, I think I've had enough excitement for one day. Look after yourself, Hugh. Thanks for the flowers. They're really beautiful. So worried about you. I'm so sorry. But what? About this melodrama. I wish you'd come along a bit earlier. I tried it too, but I accept this afternoon. No, I mean years earlier. Ten years would have been good. So I've been nine years old. I've been too young for you. I take your point. What did you do it, Hill? Do you know, I don't know anymore. Let's just call it my midlife crisis. Is it over? I've just been fired. It's not possible. Yeah, I, I don't blame them. They should have done it years ago. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Anyway, don't leave me. Do Yeah, 
No, Mark, the worst thing about a failed suicide attempt is that you have to pay your own hospital bill. Mark, come and look at this view. 